Hey, what is going on everyone? This is I Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys another 25 hidden tricks and features of the new iOS 13 beta 1. Starting off with the App Store. Now on the App Store on iOS 13, if you go to the update section where you update your apps, you will have here the ability to delete those apps. So any apps that you have here on the update section, if you swipe like this, you can go ahead and delete those apps from your iPhone directly from here. If you go to the control center on iOS 13 and you go to the volume slider like this, you can see right there it will show an icon of the device in which you're controlling the volume. So for example, if you have your AirPods connected here, then it will show you your AirPods right there. So it will tell you which the, the volume of which device you're controlling at the moment. On the spotlight search on iOS 13, if you're searching for something, you will also have the option to ask Siri. So right there, you tap something to search. And then if you scroll down, you can go ahead and just ask Siri. So just tap right there and you can ask Siri that same text that you have typed right there on the, search, on the spotlight search. The timer on iOS 13 has been redesigned. It looks really awesome. If you start a timer on iOS 13, it will show you underneath the exact time on which it will go off. So you can see here you have your timer, of course, your minutes and seconds, and then it shows you the clock when it will go off. The settings app on iOS 13 has a new accessibility section right here. Now, if you go there and go to face ID and attention, you can go ahead and enable haptic feedback for your face ID. So it will give you a haptic feedback whenever you have successfully identified yourself with your face ID, unlock your device, or you authorize an Apple Pay or anything that you use the face ID on, it will give you an haptic feedback. If you go to the settings app on iOS 13 and go to the phone section, you will have the ability right here to silence unknown callers. So callers that you don't have on your contact list will be silenced right away just by turning on this switch. The location services on iOS 13 now have a new option. So when you go to the settings of the location services, you go to one of your apps right here, you have another extra option. Now we used to have never and always and while using the app, but now you'll also have another option, ask next time. So every time an app tries to use your location, it should ask you if, you, if the app should use your location or not. On the battery section on iOS 13, now if you go to the apps to show which apps have used most of your battery, you can see right there, it will show you which apps you have used while your device has been connected to a charger. So if you have used any of the apps while, con while charging your iPhone, it will show right here so that you know that your iPhone has been charging while using those apps. When taking a screenshot on iOS 13, now you will have an extra option. If you go right here and tap done to save the screenshot, now you will also have the option to save that under files. Now previously you could only save it on the photos app, but now you can also save it on the files app. The Files app on iOS 13 has gotten a lot of features, really, really awesome. Now you will have the ability to scan documents directly from the Files app. All you gotta do is just open the Files app, tap the dots right there, tap scan document, and you will be able to scan any document directly from the Files app iOS 13 now has a download manager for Safari and you can choose where you want to save those files. So you can save them on your phone, on the iCloud drive or any of the apps that you have installed on your device. So for example, right here, I have my iPhone, I have the iCloud drive and of course the documents app. Now you can basically manage these just by tapping there tap on the edit sidebar and here you can enable or disable any of them, remove them from the list if you don't want to use them or you can basically also rearrange them just like this. So anytime you want to change the locations, the basically manage the location, remove them, you can do that directly from here. The files app on iOS 13 now also allows you to uncompress files. So if you have zip file, you can go ahead and just tap and hold on it and it will show you this menu and you will have the ability to uncompress it directly from here. Safari on iOS 13 also got some new features. Now you can request a desktop site for all the websites on Safari by default. So just go to the Safari settings on the settings app and you can go ahead and go to 
request desktop site right here and just enable that and it will request the desktop site for all the sites that you open on Safari. Some websites have a dark mode available. So you can see this website right here, MacStorage.net, it has a light mode and a dark mode also. So with iOS 13, it will basically reflect whichever mode you're using. So on Safari in iOS 13, you can see the light mode right here, but if I go to the control center and turn on the dark mode, it will also convert this website to the dark mode. You can see right there, that looks really, really dope. Now this will work only with, with websites that have, that support a dark mode. Another cool thing on Safari on iOS 13 is that you can see right here when I'm typing apple.com so I want to open the Apple website it will show me Siri suggested right here but it also shows me the menu of the Apple website you can see directly on here it will show me the menu of the Apple website and I don't have to go to Apple and then go for example to the iPhone I can do that directly from here so that's really really cool. The new Photos app on iOS 13 is way different from the old one on iOS 12. So now you can see right here, you will have the albums and you don't have a camera roll, you only have recently saved and of course all the photos right here. Now a feature here is that if you open a picture and you swipe up like this, it will show you a button to show it in all photos. So if you tap right there, it will take you to, the all, to all photos and will show you where that image is on the all photos section. Whenever you're playing music on the music app in iOS 13, you will have this button right here. If you tap it, it will show you up next. So it will show you a list of the songs that are up next and you can also rearrange them and basically set which songs you want to play next. Playing videos on the Photos app on iOS 13 will now feature a new, new button right here which allows you to mute and unmute the volume of the video directly from the controls right here. The Mail app on iOS 13 now will give you the ability to mute different threads. So you just go ahead and swipe go to more and then you will have the option here to mute that thread easily with one click. On the Notes app on iOS 13, now you have the ability to manage the folder. So if you tap right there on edit and tap the dots, you will be able to move the folder, you can rename it or you can delete it directly from this menu. On the keyboard of iOS 13, now you have the chance to have qu a quick access to the Memoji stickers. Now you probably heard about this, Apple has made some stickers based on the emojis so if you go to the emojis right here you go to the recent tab you can see right here and then you will have your memoji stickers right there you can tap there on the three dots and it will show you all the memoji stickers right here and of course you can use any of them to type them wherever you want on ios 13 you have the ability to use the scroll bar right here to basically fast, go fast up and down a table view like this. Now a lot of people think that this is a feature that you can use only on Safari, but this will work system wide. On any app you will have the ability to use this, even on third party apps anywhere that, where there is a scroll bar, you have the ability to quickly move up and down on any table view like this using the scroll bar on iOS 13. If you go to the settings of Safari on the settings app, now you will have the ability to go to downloads right here and of course choose the location where you want to download your files but also you will have here remove, remove downloaded items. Now if you go to Safari, you will have here a list of all the items that you have downloaded which you can go ahead and clear manually of course but if you don't want to just basically bother with it you can go ahead and choose after one day or up in successful download those items will be removed from the list automatically iOS 13 now has a new feature on the cellular data section called low data mode, which of course makes the apps consume less data. But that feature is also within the Wi-Fi settings. So if you go to a Wi-Fi network that you have con you're connected to, just tap the I button right there and you will have here the settings of that Wi-Fi network. You can enable low data mode also in here within the Wi-Fi settings. 
A new feature on iOS 13 is also the shortcuts which now can be found on the share sheet. So here I have a shortcut that I have downloaded for Safari and if I open Safari I go to the share sheet, if I swipe down like this you can see the shortcut is listed right here under the share sheet and will make it way easier to access it and way faster to access it of course. So that is it for this video guys, these are 25 more hidden tricks and features that can be found in iOS 13 beta 1. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like if you did. Also don't forget to, to subscribe for more videos and share this video with the, your friends as it helps out a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.